What you will need to build the Rebel Airmill. You will require an instructional manual and the video you are now watching, a partner to assist with assembly, Allen keys, sizes M6, M8 and M10, a shifting spanner, a size 16 wrench, this is an optional alternative to your shifting spanner, and a screwdriver set. Your first step would be to prepare. You will need to unpack and check all the parts provided to assemble the air mill. Separate and group all nuts, bolts, washers and spring washers into their correct sizes. First part of the assembly will be the base. The parts being used will be two legs, the two bottom frames, eight M10 by 25 mil bolts, eight nuts, eight spring washers and eight washers. The process is simple. Place both legs down. Remember to have the metal brackets facing inwards. Place both frames down. Remember to have them facing inwards. Connect the frames to the ends of the legs using the M10 by 25 bolts. To do this, place a spring washer onto the bolt and connect the frame to the leg. Place the washer and the nut on the other end and tighten. Repeat these steps on all corners of the legs. Remember, only fully tighten once all corners have been connected. The next step is the base fan cover. The parts being used, two fan cover pieces, four M10 by 50 mil bolts, four washers. The process is, align both base fan covers between the two metal brackets on the legs. Secure fan covers onto the base using M10 by 50 millimeter bolts and a washer. The metal may warp, so make sure to secure one side first. Then use a screwdriver to align the other two holes on the opposite side. Remember not to over tighten the bolts on both sides. The third step is to install the left fan cover. Parts being used, two fan cover pieces. Be sure not to use the piece with the cutout on the side. That is the fan cover for the right side. You will need 12 M10 by 25 bolts, 12 nuts, 12 spring washers, and 12 washers. Secure the bottom of the fan covers first by using the M10 by 25 mil bolts. To do this, place a spring washer onto the bolt and connect the fan covers. Place washer and nut on the other end and tighten. Do not over tighten. Start securing the fan covers from the bottom and work your way up. Some holes are harder to align than others. So use a screwdriver to manipulate the metal and align them more easily. Secure the left fan covers to each other using the same M10 by 25 mil bolts with washer, spring washer and nut. Make sure to tighten only once all bolts have been placed. Fourth step is the right fan cover. You will need two fan cover pieces. The correct piece to use for the right side is the piece with the cutout on it. This will allow the motor to be placed correctly. 12 M10 by 25 mil bolts, 12 nuts, 12 spring washers and 12 washers. You will use the same process used for the left side. Step five, we install the fan motor. You will need the motor, four M10 by 25 mil bolts and four spring washers. The process is to make sure that the motor sticks out towards the right fan cover. Slide the fan motor down between the left and right fan covers. Use the M10 by 25 mil bolts with just a spring washer to tightly secure the motor to the fan cover. In step six, we will be installing the fan blades. The parts you will need are the six fan blades, 12 M8 by 20 mil bolts, 12 spring washers and 12 washers. The process. Before fitting the blades, ensure that the curved side of the blades face towards the front of the air mill. Secure the blade to the motor plate using the M8 by 20 mil bolts with spring washer and washer. Fully tighten the bolts only once all the blades have been secured onto the motor plates to ensure they fit into place. This is a little bit like building a puzzle. Step seven, we are going to place the fan blade cover. You will need the front fan blade cover, three M6 by 40 mil bolts. 
Line up the back fan blade cover to the fan blades. You will know it is lined up correctly when you can pass the bolt through both pieces. Attach the front fan blade cover so that it sits flush onto the back cover. Secure all three parts, back cover, blades and front cover by using three M6 by 40mm bolts. Remember to fully tighten only once all three bolts have been secured. Step 8. Top fan cover. Parts being used. Two fan cover pieces, 18 M10 by 25mm bolts, 18 nuts, 18 spring washers and 18 washers. Your process. Secure the top fan cover to the left and right pieces by using M10 by 25mm bolts in the same way you connected the other fan piece covers. Remember that the metal may have warped, so use a screwdriver to manipulate and line up the holes where necessary. It is important in this step to ensure you have the bolts ready on hand when you place the fan cover. Step 9, we install the front buckle plate. Parts you will need, the front buckle plate, 8 M10 by 20mm bolts and 8 spring washers. Carefully slide the front buckle plate into place and secure using M10 by 20mm bolts with a spring washer. Remember, you can use a screwdriver to manipulate and line up the holes and make sure not to fully tighten until all bolts have been placed. Back cover motor is step 10. Parts being used. One fan motor pin, one large washer and bolt, one power switch, one power plug, one safety switch, four M10 by 20 mil bolts and four spring washers. Before placing the back cover on, you will need to insert a metal pin into the back cover of the motor so that the fan rotates with it. To do this, make sure the half square cutouts are lined up perfectly by rotating the fan blades. Once lined up, place the pin in. You may need to use a bit of force to ensure it sits flush. Once the pin is in, place the large washer against it and secure using the bolt. So you have some reference on the box. The speed dial goes here. This power supply cable feeds through this hole and the safety switch fits below that. Installing the safety switch. Before we remove any wiring, make sure to take photos so that you can reference them when attaching the wires back. You will need to remove the blue and red wires from the safety switch. You then unscrew the top off and place the switch into the correct hole. Secure the safety switch by screwing the top back on from the other side of the motor cover. To feed the power cable supply into the motor cover, you will first need to disconnect the power from the motor. You will see two red connectors, one attached to the brown wire and one attached to the green and yellow wire. You will need to remove these connectors to feed the power cord through the motor cover. Unscrew and remove the black tightening piece from the motor cover. Then feed it onto the power cable. Then feed the power cable through the motor cover and refasten the tightening piece. Connect the wires back to the safety switch. Remember to reference back to the photos you took to make sure the placement of the wires are correct. Clamp the wires for added safety. Then reconnect the red connectors with the correct color wires and clamp to ensure they are secure. To install the speed dial, you will need to loosen the small screw on the side of the knob so that the two parts separate. Then unscrew the nut and remove. Feed the bottom part through the correct hole and screw the nut back on. Place the knob back on. Before tightening the screw, make sure to turn the dial left until you hear a click. Then tighten the screw with the dial showing zero at the top. Place the motor cover on and secure using M10 by 20mm bolts with a spring washer. Use a screwdriver where necessary to line the holes up and only fully tighten once all bolts have been placed. Final step is the fan handles. You will need the two fan handles, 8 M10 by 20mm bolts and 8 spring washers. Secure the fan handles using the M10 by 20mm bolts with the spring washer. 
Remember to use a screwdriver to align the holes and only tighten once all bolts have been placed. Once assembly has been completed, go back and make sure all bolts have been fully tightened. Good luck and enjoy using the air mill.